Hey Sterling, this is uh, Steve Sheaf. My son Giovanni's on the camera. This is my son Vincenzo. And um, this is our up, up cycle palette challenge for 2015. It's uh, August 25th here in Massachusetts. It's a little hot, as you can see. And um, so ever since you started announcing this thing, I've been trying to think about what to make. And um, I started working on finding out how much I could get out of a pallet and trying to figure out what I could make with all the pieces. And so I um, just started using SketchUp, um, thanks to Jay Bates and all his tutorials. Um, so this is my SketchUp drawing of my bench top vise. And so that's going to be what we're going to try to get out of this pallet. All right, so the idea is trying to get as much out of this pallet as we can. So I don't want to destroy all the wood. So we'll pull the nails out of the big pieces after, but we're going to do the big these pieces now. Okay. Lift, buddy, lift. There you go. And then this is the yield we got. So these straight pieces here are good. A lot of the curved pieces were uh, broken or bent. Um, there's another small piece here, and then separated by size. I just can't use because they're just a little bit too short. Um, these ones are all the same length, all the same width, and these are what's going to make up the top. All right, <clears throat> so now we're going to plane all these parts down and see what we can use. up. We'll glue these together. We'll make the jaws. We'll make the bed. And uh, then probably this once it's all set, we'll probably put this through the planer. It's going to be just... planer fits 12 inches. This is a little over 11. By the time I compress it, it'll probably be 10 and a half. So, um, so I think i just skip right to it and show you the final product. And just take a look at it. And um, here we go. So here's my original drawing. And here is the finished product. So here we go. So those are all the, uh, the slats on end from the, uh, from the pallet. And of course, these were the runners. And um, I found these online, about eight bucks a piece from ShopFox to make the actuators for the vise. Of course, I didn't do a very good job mounting them, but I just wanted to get it done. And of course, I drilled some holes. So that we can use it. And then I had a bunch of cast off pieces that look just like this. So I took them over to my to my lathe and made some uh, these little wooden bench dogs to go in here. I'm not sure how good they're going to work, but if I have to buy commercial ones eventually I will. But, um, but anyway, uh, as I was heading out here to do this whole thing, I uh, actually got my wood magazine in the mail. And in it was this donation envelope from Wounded Warrior Foundation. So... I now think what I'm going to do is I was going to maybe use this for myself, but uh, I think I'm going to try to sell this to a fellow woodworker of mine, and uh, I'll take the proceeds, stick it in this envelope. That'll be my donation to the Wounded Warriors. And uh, Sterling and all the uh, supporters, I'd like to thank you for uh, putting on this challenge. And uh, again, thanks a lot. Good job, guys. Hope you enjoy the video.